Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about the 1933 classic, King Kong. Now, we all know this story because this movie has never been forgotten. But in case you haven't seen, I'll narrate it a little for you. The story is about a beautiful, struggling actress who tries to make it in the movies, and unfortunately, it's 1933, so the Great Depression has already hit. So she's having trouble getting work, but she ends up getting a job because one producer liked what he saw in her, and he wants to shoot on an unknown island that's in the shape of a skull. Nobody knows what he has up his sleeve. And the funny thing is, while they're rehearsing on the boat, He's telling her to look way up into the sky and scream, as if he suspects that some very unusual creature lives there. They get to the island, the natives take the girl, and they tie her up. And then we find out what is on the island. King Kong. She was put there as a sacrifice, but he liked her. So, instead, he takes her. And for most of the movie, the men on the ship are trying to find the girl. And while they're exploring what's on the other side of that giant wooden gate that was designed to keep Kong out, they see a whole bunch of incredible things, mostly dinosaurs. Meanwhile, she's being threatened by a T-Rex, and Kong saves her. He saves her from all kinds of dinosaurs, until eventually the men catch up with her and take her back. And of course, Kong follows them so he could get her back. They gas him, they take him to New York as an attraction, and he escapes. Afterwards, he grabs the girl again, and we get that legendary scene where he climbs the Empire State Building, and he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the planes. And sadly, he's shot down. And at the very end, we get that famous line that it wasn't the planes that killed him. It was beauty that killed the beast. This movie is without a doubt a true classic. It's one of the most recognized monster movies of all time. There have been a lot of remakes over the years, but none of them compared to the original. So what is it about this movie that's so endearing to people? Well, I'll start with the obvious. The cast. They play their parts so well. Carl Denham, the producer, is played by Robert Armstrong. He plays his part so well that you just know he's up to something, but you can't figure out what. And of course, there's the lovely Faye Ray, who plays our leading lady. She definitely played that part perfectly. No one could scream like she could, I'll tell you that right now. But as we all know, the real main attraction was Kong himself, created and brought to life by legendary stop-motion animator Willis O'Brien. Every scene that is done in this movie is done so flawlessly, you really cannot see any problems at all. In fact, believe it or not, the making of this was a closely guarded secret. In fact, they did not reveal anything until after the movie came out. And even then, it took uh, about a few months, if I remember correctly, because they wanted to keep it a secret until they had everyone's attention. And after everyone just kept asking, how did they do it? How did they do it? How did they do it? In a magazine, there was a picture of Fay Ray shaking hands with an 8-inch King Kong. And that is how the world found out about stop-motion animation. Because believe it or not, even with movies such as The Lost World, nobody knew how they did it. And in fact, despite popular belief, Stop motion was not a common practice. However, after this movie came out, it became a standard for Hollywood. And it inspired legendary stop motion animator Ray Harryhausen. When he saw King Kong, it changed his life. He knew what he wanted to do. And the rest became history. This is a movie that everyone should see. If you haven't seen it, you really need to look it up. It is one of the greatest movies that has ever been made. It raised the bar for Hollywood. It changed history. It gave us Ray Harryhausen. There's no movie like it in the world. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You're gonna love it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.